In game two of the ALCS, the Yankees are up three runs. There's a runner on second and third. First base is open, and Cole pitches around Jimenez. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Four in a row says, swing if you want. He says, I don't want to. Okay, fine. Bases are loaded. What do we care? We wanted to pitch around you to get the righty up and to get the bottom of the order up. And it's an instant pop out. And then he goes after Rokio, who ends up putting a good at bat together, but strikes out on the curve there. Inning over. They loaded the bases on purpose. It did not hurt them. In game two, later on, Clay Holmes, he's better against righties than lefties. So again, Jimenez is up. And he says, dude, if you want to swing at these, have fun. Otherwise, I'm pitching around you to go after Hedges because he's a righty. He's not the best hitter. He's a great defensive catcher, and we'll just attack him. Don't care if we load the bases. We'll take the risk. Almost swung at that slider way away. Tunneling is crazy, and he gets the inning-ending strikeout. So the Yankees all series were pitching carefully to people, choosing their matchups. Canely's great against lefties. He attacks J-Ram right there. Strike one, next ball, pop out. Runner on first, next lefty comes up, nailer. Strike one, strike two, strike three, you're done. Here comes a righty. Not the best matchup. There's two outs. There's a lefty coming up next. Lane Thomas, if you want to chase these pitches, go ahead. But we're not coming in the zone. No interest. We'll just throw you to first base. Who cares if that puts a runner in scoring position? I like facing lefties. There's a change up right in the zone. You thought I was missing my spots? No. There's another one. There's a ground out. Kane Lee covers. Inning over. You're out. The Yankees were very smart about this. If you don't think this is real, you're like a doubter. We got to interview Aaron Boone, manager of the Yankees, and I talked to him about how they did this so well. I thought you guys did a really good job pitching around people and finding the matchups you wanted. Yeah, I thought our pitchers did a good job, and I thought it's a good point by you on the Cousins pitch around Naylor there. Clay did it earlier in the series where he pitched around, oh, who was Jimenez. Jimenez with Hedges on deck. You know, he was going to be very careful. It's just really good execution. I thought all his pitches to Jimenez were like, all right, if you're going to get yourself out, so be it, but I'm taking my shot on the next guy. So those are little things in the game that are big. You know, our guys did a good job of that. Here we have it again. There's two on. There's two outs. Bottom of fifth, lighter is on the bump, and J-Ram is a scary batter. So what they do is they say, hey, lighter, throw the first pitch, see if he chases it. If he doesn't, okay, he didn't. Let's just put him on first base and take our chances on the next guy. It's better for us. So they intentionally walk him after the first pitch to load the bases. They only need one more out. The Yankees loaded the bases on purpose so many times. Next batter, the righty, high curveball, grounds out, inning over, threat averted, by walking a guy on purpose and saying, here you go, dude, we don't want to deal with you. Now, the Guardians did do this a couple times. They intentionally walked Soto to get to judge early in the series, and on this at-bat, they clearly wanted nothing to do with Soto. And they say, dude, if you're not going to chase these pitches, just go to first base. Because they say, two ball, all right? Comes to me, I'm going to go to you, and we'll get Judge to hit into a double play. But Judge doesn't hit the double play. Hits one really hard past Rokio. Maybe if it was a little softer, they would have turned two. That would have been fun. But instead, it's just out of his reach. And the Yankees have Jazz up next. And they have him lay down a bunt, which I thought was a little risky because now they can pitch around Stanton. and Or they could just put Stanton on first base because Giancarlo Stanton is unbelievable in the postseason for his whole career. And especially this year, it's like a firework display. So... You're thinking, oh, they're not going to give him much to hit here, right? First pitch in the zone. And Stan's thinking, okay, all right, next pitch out of the zone. So maybe that was the one in the zone and the rest going to chase. They're excited about it. Ooh, yeah. Next one, outside. Three fastballs in a row. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, another fastball in the zone. And Stan hits a three-run homer. A one-run game quickly becomes a four-run game in the sixth inning. The Yankees, heels run around celebrating. They're laughing like, what are you doing? First base is open. He's a home run threat. He's dancing. He's smiling. He enjoys it. He's like, yeah, keep giving me pitches. Boom. Give me fastballs that don't move and I can just bang them. Oh, shit. So then in game five, Yankees win 
and they move on and the Guardians are eliminated. The Guardians have a 2-0 lead. There's two outs. They need one more out. There's a runner on third. Second base is open. First base is open. Guess who's up? Giancarlo Stan. Behind him is Jazz Chisholm, who's having a very tough series at the plate. Choose your battles. Would the Yankees have pitched to him? No, they already proved they're going to even walk lesser guys just to get to the better matchup. Catcher says outside, okay? Let's see if he chases. And curveball way outside, he does swing and miss. Now, maybe if he doesn't swing and miss and he takes that for a ball, they just walk him the same way the Yankees did to J-Ram earlier in this game. But he swung at it. In my head, I was like, that's bait. Stan knows that now they're going to pitch to him because they got a head, they got a strike. If that's a ball, they don't pitch to him. That's bait. And now catcher says, in the dirt, get it down. It's going to be a change up. Low, he swings over that. He's in a hole, 0-2. Okay, all right, they're feeling good. Come on, let's go. Ah, excited. Look, fist pump, here we go. They're going to go outside again with a slider, and Stan says, nah, dude, I only swung at that because I wanted you to keep pitching to me. Throw it again. Come in the zone. Come in the zone. Make a mistake, says get it down. Let's go. Curveball, dirt. Stan does not chase the fans. They still got two strikes. They're excited. They're looking the same. Sharing glasses, feeling good. I'm getting chips. Chips. Arr. Oh, chips. Okay, change up. You can see his grip going to the change up. You can see the catcher saying 2-2. Two, two. Let's get this up above the zone, above the zone. Ball. Now it's three and two. You got him two strikes. Do you want to make a pitch? He says, put it in the zone. Put it in the zone. Put it in the zone. Make a mistake. Put it in the zone. And they're going to try and go outside again with the same pitch they started with. They're going to try and go outside. I believe that's what they're doing. First and second base are open. Don't screw this pitch up. Oh, you screwed it up. You put it in the zone, and now he hit a two-run home run. There was no need. Slams the bat. Oh, ah, let's go. Go. Ah, they're so excited. Let's go, boy. Uh -huh. And look at, oh, no. Why? Why? Why would you do that? Why would the pitcher even allow that to happen? Force, force, walk them. There was no need. I can't believe they even put themselves in a situation where they could miss a spot. He's obviously not trying to put that in the zone. But as a manager, you got to not even let that happen. This is, John Carlos Stan had 10 hits in this series. Five of them were home runs. They were all pretty impactful. And that is just a boom. And look, oh, he doesn't even look. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious. Oh, that sucks. We were live streaming the game, doing our watch alongs, had like 9,000 people watching with us. This was our play by play of this at bat in live time. This is force. Ball one and then throw up the force. Yeah. I mean, if this is in the zone, they're sick. Okay. Little league catcher <laughs> setup. And a wave and a miss. Stan was up the Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Bait him a That's little bit. Bait. I know. He doesn't want to get walked. I know. Don't oh, backdoor changeup. See, that's why I didn't like the first one. No. We need a Stanton hit that's similar to Naylor's the other day. It's like three balls off the plate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just goes with it. Nah, just miss a spot and hit another homer. That's also fine. There's Stanton. Yeah! All right. Don't try to sneak one past him. <laughs> Make a mistake. Should be off the plate. Why would you put this in the zone? Two outs in the inning. He wants to swing. So no, no, no. He doesn't want to hassle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys the same in the whole world? Yes, I was more mad at them for terrible baseball strategy than happy with Stan for hitting a home run. It's a weird thing that I do that I wish I didn't do. This breakdown was brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you for watching. If you Plan on watching World Series games. Check out our live streams. Check out Talking Yanks. Uh, we've been having a ton of fun. My Yanks are in the World Series. Did I cry? Yes.